Hey guys, so we have this interior shot here. As you can see, the room is a little bit messy, a bit cluttered. I have done a basic color correction and to brighten the brightness and stuff, but today we're gonna be focusing on how to declutter. So we're gonna be using this clone tool here on the left. So we're in Photoshop CC. It looks like a stamp. You click on that. All you have to do is uh, kind of hold down Option if you're on a Mac. I think it might be Control or something close to that if you're on a PC. And that allows you to choose a, just look carefully for my mouse, it allows you to choose a section of the um, photo and then clone it so you can, the scratch discs are full, nice. Let me just empty my trash can, I think that helps. It's probably because I've got all of the programs open at the moment, Lightroom, Photoshop, Logic, let me just close something down here. Give me a sec. Don't use. All right, maybe this will work now. Let's try it again. Um, there we go. See, it allows me to just pick a spot next to the object. So I'm gonna get rid of that little car on the ground. Pick a spot next to it, gone. Now, if you wanna get super technical, zoom right in. Boy, you can see the photo's a bit grainy. I haven't added any noise reduction. Look at that. There you go. Just choose a spot next to it. Get rid of the cord there. Watch this. Boom. Go on. Some kind of jumper under the bed. Just click the edge of the bed. Line it up. Scratch this full again. Fuck you. Oh, you know, you go out and buy the best laptop. I've got pretty much the best fucking Apple laptop you can get. So this shit doesn't happen. I don't even know why the scratch discs here full. Does anybody know? Maybe I should just shut down Premiere. Let me shut down Premiere here. Let's just quickly sh shut that. Apologies, apologies everybody. Quit Premiere, quit Premiere. Give me some more. Yes, save, save, save. Come on, let's do it. Let's roll. I got some work to do. Yes, yeah, save it. Oh, uh, you bloody bastard. Let's see if this works now. You know, it's probably because I'm running OBS as well. Nah, it's not gonna work. It's a fucking piece of shit. Should've got a PC. Can't get these two fucking work because they scratch this shit fool. Trying to make a fucking video so I can help people out here and the thing just fucking feels up. Scratch this a fool. Let's just go on Facebook instead. Fuck the video. Oh, look, I got two notifications. How cool. Mmm, they're not even for me. Uh, there's all my Facebook ads I'm fucking running. It's, it's quite a few. <laughs> That's a fucking web the sites I'm buying. All right, let's try it again. It's had enough of a break. Oh, it's gonna work. No, you mofo. All right, why am I scratch this full? Come on, this was gonna be good, man. Have I got too many other photos open? Let's close off some of these. Hmm. What is that? Nothing? Mm. Oh dear. I can't believe you have to watch all this shit, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth looking at. Alright, yeah, this is some agent photos I did. Um, transparent, doing a, cutting them out, doing transparent background. Oh. Maybe it'll work now. Man, these photos. All right, let's try this. Come on. Come on, Mr. Hair Clip. Yeah, you gone. You gone. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cord. It's amazing how just doing this to a photo can really just give it an overall cleaner look. Um, and it's a completely different impression of the house. Um... You know, I think a lot of people ha have, have issues with germs and cleanliness and stuff like that. And if they see that the house is kept, I mean, this is not even untidy. Like this is how normal people probably live. I mean, my house is not super clean all the time. Like right now I've just got like a washing truck on the floor, which I'll get to eventually. Um, but you know, when you're selling a place, you, you got all different kinds of walks of life coming through the property. You don't want to maximize the success and people interested, 
you need to make sure the house is pristine. Like, or as clean as you can get it. And yeah, sometimes you can't be bothered. It, it might be, if you're the seller, it, it might pay off for you to actually get a cleaner to come in and, and you know, organize some stuff, you know, find some boxes and put some things away, get rid of some clutter, you know, because little things on the floor, like, I think this house is a rental. Oh, see, I'm not doing the best job on that, but like once you zoom back out, no one can really tell. Oh, great. We've got a reflection of the hair clip too. Now you can be here for hours getting rid of this stuff. Um, but, you know, just take your time, go through, like look at all them toys back there. Are you really going to do all those toys? There you go. There's that thing under the bed. As you can see, I'm just grabbing the edge, lining it up. Boom. Perfect. See, you've got little crumbs on the floor. Get rid of all them little pieces of chippies and all. What I like to do in a photo, you see now, look at that, bang, gone. It looks a whole lot better. So, oh, what would you do with this side of the room? Now, to make this look good, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, this is... Is that smudgy stuff on the mirror? Duh. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Now, sometimes this looks good and sometimes it don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select around all this stuff. Turn that the cabinet's still there. You go down like this. Down like this. Cross the doona. Cross there. So the bed can go like that. Down the bed. Now, I don't even know if there's like some kind of cornice on this room. Let's just go across like this and pretend that that's the edge of the wall. Come up. And down across like this down and join it back up. Now I want to come up here to the minus subtract from selection tool and grab this line here because we don't want to paint over that when we paint the wall in. And now that allows us to then grab the color of the cream here, the creamy wall and just do this. You might be thinking, what the hell are you doing, man? That's not right. See, you can make it look like there is a clean wall. And this is how to declutter to the max. <clears throat> Boom, now you got this stuff on the floor. Now, you need to kind of analyze the room. So I can't even see any kind of corners thing there. So, oh, fuck, you got to kind of, you kind of got to guess. I can probably look at a photo from a different room. And there might be, here we go. See, it's just... As you can see the right here, that's what it's going to look like in the other room. Uh, what else the other shots have we got here? Let's just double, triple check that we have, yeah, see, that. Uh, my photos are grainy as, why? What I can even do is, is grab this shot. I'm going to put that in Photoshop as well. So right click in the Lightroom, edit in Photoshop. Now this is going to make my fucking scratch discs more full. But what I'll be able to do is actually grab that. Now hopefully this works. There we go. Come in here. Zoom on in there. So you can see the white balance is completely different. Which is probably going to fuck me up. Grab this bit of little corner corner piece here. Now, not to... I just made this up myself, man. No one really taught me any of this stuff. Grab that. As you can see, the wall kind of looks pretty damn legit. Paste your little corner piece in. You got your... It's not really... Cor What's not got a corner? It's called a what? What's it called? It's skirting. It's a proper... Now, that looks like a piece of wood. Maybe if I can rotate it the right way. Might have to actually skew this so it's sitting the right angle. So, um, edit, transform, skew, and you want to just like pull. See that? Now look at that straight. It's gonna fit where I need it to go. Uh, like that kind of thing. Yep. Bang. There we go. Now, obviously, I need to change the white balance of this. I probably should have fixed that in Lightroom before I bring it in here. I'm guessing it's going to be way smaller than that, too. It's going to be more like this. 
Now this is extreme. Like this, and, and people wonder why photos cost, you know, hundreds of dollars. This is why. I'm just going to stretch it out. I mean, you can sit here for ages and get it perfect. Um, the way I see it is you've got so many other photos to do. As long as it doesn't look fake, it should be fine. That's what I say. I mean, you got to stay within reason. Now I can charge... If I'm charging a full premium, I'm going to go all out. But for this, I'm just doing it. Like, I'm not even charging for these photos. This is some photos that I'm doing as an extra for a client who, sh who had the photos done by a different person and they're struggling to sell the house. So he wanted a bit of a freshen up. What are all these tips coming at me? It's because I just... Uh, okay. Let's get rid of that. See, look at that. It's starting to look like there was nothing there. Which, wow, look at the, Like, I can't wait to do that. I could probably do it, you know? Um, I've done things like that before where I fully decluttered. Now, this thing here is yellow. We need to fix that up. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you come into adjustments, color balance, and then... So, I've got to, I'm running two monitors here. I've got one underneath that you can't see. And sometimes the, the little toolbar, the tool things pop up on the bottom one. Now, to make this less yellow, go the opposite. So yellow is here, we want to add more blue in there. So as you, as I add more blue, you're going to see it's going to change. Now it's too pink, so I've got to add more green. More green, now it's a little bit too much green. Chuck some blue in there. See, it's, it's also way too dark, so I need to come in here, give it some more brightness. And there you go. She's looking good now. It's a little bit of a creamy color. Man, that's close enough for me. Um, let's zoom on back in there because that edge of the carpet is not perfect. So, uh, what's all these weird shadows, man? There's another piece of furniture cot thing there, but let's just get rid of it all. Uh, so, that, let's select the bottom layer. This will fix the edge. So I'm just grabbing pieces of the carpet that are near it. So just come along and fix like so. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Moving along. This is basically reconstructing the house here. So now when I zoom out, poor, mate, you cannot tell. I know there's the edge of that bed there, which I haven't chopped properly. Let's just quickly get rid of that. Boom shagalaka, baby. Looking good. Now, this cord here is really standing out to me for some reason. And this cord here, that's just like... What I like to do when I'm looking at a photo. And even when I'm cleaning my car, or I'm cleaning a room, or I'm cleaning something, I'm trying to make something look good. Stand back, look at it, and think to yourself, what is the thing that is catching my eye that looks bad? Or that stands out that probably could make this look a bit cleaner. Right now, because this was a tenanted property, I couldn't really touch anything. So it was I was limited to what I could do. Plus, we had a time limit. The guy had to leave the agent I was with. Uh, I mean, I just look at it now and I think, fuck, you know what? And when I go to this effort and they don't use the photo, I think, shit, you know, why am I in this industry? Why, 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 why? Can I get rid of this fucking... Oh, that, that's kind of cool. I can move the shadow over a bit. Now, of course, when people go to this property, they'll be like, oh, damn. You know, there's um a lot of clutter in this house, but as long as you get them there, the photos are the one thing that people get to look at from the comfort of their own home. Um, they can, after they've come, they can only go to an open, you know, a certain amount of times. And they can only look at the house a certain amount of times, um, you know, in person before they actually buy it. So the photos are one thing that they're going to be studying, looking at every night, thinking, do I want this place? Do I want this place? Uh, if you're doing something like getting this cord here, I suggest like putting a box around it because then you're not, you don't have to sit there and be tedious on the edge. You can just kind of do the box, grab a bit of carpet that's near it, 
come up like that and just go wee and it's pretty much gone now man when i first saw this i was like oh my god where has the clone tool been my whole fucking life because you know it is an amazing tool it is an amazing tool that has saved me so many times and you know improved my photography so damn much because even if there's something, there's always that shot, you know, there's something there, like, you know, in later shots of this same shoot, there's like a dog, um, there's the agent standing in the background, there's some of the family, the backyard had dog shit and toys and all this stuff everywhere, so, now look at that, you're telling me that that does not look like, I mean, this carpet here looks a little bit fucked, but you can, you can sit there and, you know, tweak it and make it look a bit nicer and, must be coming from the layer above. Yeah, make it look a little bit more subtle, so it's not like in your face. I mean, it looks a little bit fake, but fuck, you know, you just keep working it until you're happy. I'm not going to spend forever on this. All right, so that's the left-hand side looking, oh, actually, the side of the cabinet there we forgot, which is pretty easy. So uh, all I'm going to do is grab my thing and just paint this down more. Dun, 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 Make it smaller for when you get lower. Uh, there we go. Boom. I mean, if you want to fix up smudges and stuff like that, there you go. I mean, you can make any photo look amazing. Looking good. All right, let's get this cord here is really pissing me off. I mean, it, it's just really pissing me off. Apologies again about the grain on this photo. Like, damn, I'm, I'm going to add some noise reduction to it later and probably turn them shadows down a bit because that's way too much. Oh, look at that. It's just disappearing. So all it's doing is just taking the carpet that's next to it and just cloning it to there. Somebody dropped it green green cup so when it's when it's stuff like this just grab the edge here go up make sure it's like perfectly in spot boom and then just paint around it perfect look at that boom 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 for smaller stuff make sure you zoom in i know this photo is grainy as shit but whatever you'll get over it Uh, you can even fix up little scratches and little knocks and that on these things to make it look good. You know, this cord coming out of the thing here. If you know what you're doing, it takes a couple of minutes, it's a couple of seconds. Look, boom. Whoop, just draw around it. Pick another spot. Keep following it around. Well, that's even continued on that extra shadow there. Grab an edge. Bang. And that's not perfect, but you know. And the longer you spend, the better it gets. This is like the cord to a lamp or something. If you're a photographer, I mean, <laughs> if you're a real estate agent in Victoria, and... You're looking for someone who can do something like this don't hesitate to send me a message because i'm now currently have a few open spots spots for new agents to come on board with me bum, bum, bum. and there you go it's looking much better let's just quickly go back and look at the um original photo here so we've got uh, this is our original photo and then in Photoshop we have the edits so you look at the cluttered edited I mean it's still very cluttered over this thing here it's doable but you know as, as I said it takes time this here I'm thinking just for 
argument's sake, not argument's sake, but just to make it look a bit nicer, we might actually crop this out because for me to try and figure out the edge of this draw here, not gonna happen. So after we finish this, I might put it back into um, put it back into Lightroom and just crop it down slightly just to make it look a little bit neater. I know this cord probably shouldn't get rid of it, but it's just like not sitting in a neat spot. And it's just another thing that catches your eye and makes you think, oh, you know, why is it sitting across like that? Like, why isn't it going directly down? And, and buyers, I'm telling you, when you're buying a property, it's actually most important for the real estate agent to actually have enough balls to tell the, um, the vendors, the owners of the property that, hey, you know, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done for you to get maximum return on this property. Because, I mean, everyone's different. Everyone's got a different level of cleanliness. Everyone's got a different standard of what's acceptable. But if you just set it at the highest expectation, if you just set it at the highest um, level of cleanliness or whatever, then... You know, you, you're just going to maximize the amount of people that will be interested. And some people are very picky. Some people are like, you know, I need perfection. Like if I'm going to spend that amount of money on a house, I don't want to rock up to the thing and be like, ew, someone else's, um, whatchamacallit, like clutter and that. Let's just draw the bench top in. I'll show you how I'll do this here. It, it looks easy, but you know, just keep practicing. If you're getting um if you're getting stuck with decluttering and stuff, just keep practicing. Keep trying. Um keep I've practiced this a whole lot. I'm not saying I'm the best at this, but um you know, I have had a bit of experience in doing it. I do know how to make an average photo look a bit better than it did from the start and get rid of clutter. So I'm going to the extreme here, but just to show you that it is doable, you know, some shots out there, you might think, fuck this, this shot is just, I can't use that. There's just too much shit there, but where there's a will, there's a way. You know, if you want to make it look good, if you want to go the extra mile and be a photographer who is, you know, above average, if you want to get paid above average, you've got to do above average things. And this is something that most people would say, hey, fuck, I can't be bothered doing that because, you know, I've got better things to do than sit there and, you know, fucking get rid of people's uh, moisturizer cream bottles off there countertop or you should have just moved them well you know you can that's an option like just move them you know i used to keep some gloves in my car because sometimes you just don't want to touch other people's stuff like you know this person's got some shorts and that there you don't know what has happened in that house or on that stuff and sometimes the worst um the worst uh ideas come into mind with what you think what could have happened so hope you like what I'm doing here as you can see slowly this top here is getting decluttered I don't know how, how long I've been doing this for but you know it does take time I can spend up to an hour on a photo just doing things like this making it look cleaner as you can see, you, you've kind of got to have a good eye for what what it's going to be like. Um, say, like now I've got to think, okay, I'm in a mirror, so it's going to obviously reflect. You can't just paint in whatever. You've got to have a good eye for, um, you know, what's there behind it. So 
I don't know if that even made sense, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. And as you can see, this thing is taking shape. Mm. See on the edge here, it doesn't look very real. You just got to keep zooming, keep painting, keep drawing, keep experimenting. You can always undo it if you're not happy with it. I mean, the top of that doesn't look super real, but look, mate, when you come back here, can you even tell? Can you even tell that there was full on stuff here? Like, let's have a look at the other photo. Look at that. Compared to now, that. Oh, as you can see, I'm pretty proud of myself. Every different scenario is different. Like I've had to get rid of cars out of driveways. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, just go to George George on YouTube. I've got a couple of videos there on um, like removing a car. Oh, that's Ralph Lauren Polo Blue, man. Love that stuff. I use that as well. Smells good. Always getting compliments. Oh, you smell good, man. Do do do. So yeah, the clone tool lets you retain the texture. See, this wall's like grainy. I know on the other wall I didn't, but when you that when you zoomed that far out, it doesn't really matter. I could just grab that color and do this. This is like a prop. It's amazing that how mm, you see the texture is quite different now. It doesn't look good. I mean, I could sit there forever and and paint in like the actual texture of that. Let's just zoom back and have a look. Yeah, it looks a little bit fake. A bit, but oh yeah, because the corner. That's why it needs to be like darker in the corner. So what you do is just this. I'll show you. So get this wall straight down, straight across. I know I didn't select it properly there, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I know it's taking me a while, but at the same time, I'm doing a quick job. So that will let it be a corner. And then from here, Grab that like so, and maybe I'll make this a bit brighter. Yeah, that kind of looks like a corner. I mean, you can, you just gotta sit there and keep refining it, making sure it's, mm, no, that's not gonna work. Let's just do it anyway. Do, 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 do. There we have that. Come down here and repaint this in. I mean, a lot of you will be thinking, mate, who can be fucked? I un totally understand. It is actually way more efficient to go in there and move it or don't move it at all, but. I'm just saying, if you don't have any other options, like I said, this is a tenanted property um, and the people were actually home. So there's one thing about tenanted properties, you know, you don't want to bother. You don't want to bother them too much. Like I always feel sorry for them because they're like having to get another house and get kicked out and all that kind of stuff. But you know, that's, that's just what you get if you rent. Sometimes the owner wants to sell and then you've got to move out and find another place. And yeah, if you keep your house messy, then probably you get to stay there for a bit longer because no one's going to buy it. Because I'm telling you, there is a lot of the germ freaks, neat freaks, and you just want to think about this, right? If your house was dirty, it's going to lower your chances of actually people liking it because people who don't like germs and I'm telling you there's a lot of them out there 
They will just get turned off by it. They'll think, oh, you know, nah. I mean, for a fucking room, you go into a lot of effort here. So let's just look at that dresser thing. Before. After. It's looking a million times better. But at the same time, it is not perfect. I kind of feel like this carpet here is kind of pissing me off a bit. I just want to do a bit of that. Why isn't that working? Just do a bit of this. Just to keep it more consistent there. Then you got to do the same for up there. <laughs> for the TV screens, I, I'll i show you what I like to do. I create a... Um, a new layer, and then I will select around the TV. Make sure you don't select the actual edge of the TV. You want to have a little bit of an edge there. Like so. Oh, went straight through the panel. All. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool, so which is in the paint bucket one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top half of it fully black, and then the bottom half of it nearly fully black. So a very, very dark gray. And then I'm just going to do this or, or the other way around. And that gives you like a bit of a gradient. Like it's a, an LCD screen that's um, not glossy. It just makes it look a whole lot neater. So that's what it looks like before. You're getting all this reflection and you got that. If you want to, you can actually turn the opacity of it down. So it gives you a little bit of reflection, but it's not so full on. See that? It gives you just like makes it look a little bit nicer but then you get your pan all there fucking coming through and your energy sticker so you might as well just make it all the way back down bang gone all right a couple of other tricky things to get rid of here Let's see if we can get rid of these shorts on the top of this so obviously we're going to have an extra one of these here yes like so um, let's go that here. Like so. All the way across. Up. Mm. That is good. Here we have this going that way. Which is pretty good. And then down again, down. I'll get rid of the cord there. As you can see, the shorts are slowly going away. I mean, like, you got to be patient to work at this level. Very patient. And then for the top of this thing, I'd probably just grab this and go... And just kind of guess where you think it would have gone. And then grab your gray from the top, paint that over. Uh, I think it would be more gray than that. There we go. Uh, boom. There we have it. I mean, it's not the perfect edge here. If you want the perfect edge, zoom right in. Select your edge. And then
There's your edge that looks a bit better. I mean, this edge here looks a bit dodgy, but you know, you can fix that yourself on a CBF with that. And there you go, there's the shorts gone. It's looking much neater across there. Now we've got the pig. They're standing out like crazy. Speaker, we're gonna get rid of the car. I mean, is that just taking it too far or what? What is behind this pig thing? Okay, so we've got the window. The window, let's just do a quick thing. We've got the window should come down pretty much vertically. So, to about there, to there. But why is it going, oh yeah, because it goes across and then it goes in. So let's just say that's our window sill. Might be able to just grab this window sill here. Put that in. Uh oh. I'm on my TV layer, that's not very good. That means all that last cloning I was doing was on my TV layer. Doesn't faze me. No, 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 no. So there's our window sill. And then now we have, what's going on here? We've got the edge of the TV. So the edge of the TV does this. Grab the edge here. Boom, 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 boom. Grab this edge here. Boom, 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 And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Like, just do a couple of these, you get way better. Grab a photo, like purposely grab photos that are cluttered and just see how far you can go. Like I used to test myself out. Once I had this room, so this thing, the whole room was full of soft toys. And I mean, full of soft toys. Like you could not see the bed. And then I had, after that I'd had pretty much had, um, like there was not one soft toy left and you could fully see the bed properly and everything. It was pretty cool. Um, I just did it to just kind of see how far I could go with it. Um, it's kind of relaxing once you get, once you, once you get used to what you're doing, you kind of just like, you can just zone out or well, I can't, for me anyway, I can just zone out now. And it's just like a, anything, you know, I just kind of sit here and, think about something else while my my brain and my body is doing something different I mean the, I guess that edge there is not the best but you can obviously fix it up as good as you want just do that people aren't going to know as I said, like when you move back, you can't even tell. Starting to get lazy with it now because I've spent too long on one photo, but I'm doing it as an example to show you how far you can go with a photo. And um, yeah, in impress your agents that you're working with. I mean, it'll be like, Phew. you know, I, I used to send, I used to, I'll send an agent photos like this. They'll love it. Absolutely love it. Because not every photographer does this. And if they do do it, it can cost a lot of money. But you know, you get them properties that are clean. And you get them properties that are cluttered. And you just kind of, what I do is I just take the good with the bad. I usually don't charge them any. I usually don't charge them any extra, probably because I'm an idiot, and I should. Let's just see how this goes. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. You know what, because I'm getting over it now. Let's just make that speaker a whole lot thinner. 
That'll do. I mean, no one's going to notice. Watch when I zoom out, you'll be like, oh, shit. That toy thing's gone. Mm, what about that? Just quickly get rid of that. And there we have it, a pretty damn clean looking room. I'm just going to get rid of this here as well while we're here. Just because we've gone that far and it would be a shame not to get rid of that as well. Yeah, and there we have it. I'm gonna crop this in a bit here, so you can't actually see it. Okay, let's look at the original. Massive difference. Photoshop. Okay, let's save that. So when I click Control S, that just puts it straight back into Lightroom. It'll come next to this photo now. Yep, there she goes. As you can see, the original, and there is the clutter. Original, <laughs> well, not original, decluttered, cluttered. So for this one now, I'm gonna do is uh, just crop it in a little bit. I want to keep the same aspect ratio. So hold shifts, I believe. I mean, it does make the room look a bit smaller. But that looks so much nicer than this. Do you see what I mean? About first impressions. You want to sell the house for, you know, a million dollars. It could be seven, eight, nine hundred, whatever it is. You want to maximize. Um, is it misleading? Kind of. Um, I mean, it, it probably shows the space better as it will be presented when you actually get it, the keys. Because when the new owners walk in here, they're not going to be... Um, getting all the furniture and all the stuff, it's going to be completely vacant. So it is misleading kind of, but you know, once upon a time, it could be even worse than that. Let's just hope they see the photos and be like, damn, man, that looks actually good. Like decluttered. I mean, it's just a pretty basic average room. Another thing that I'd fix here is the bed. See how the bed's not made properly. Um, you could, you could fix that up as well. That's another thing that that looks off. Um, as you can see, this light here is not working either. So I'll show you quickly how to do that in Lightroom. Just use your brush tool. And just make it nice and small. Just turn your exposure up. How do you zoom? Let's uh, just zoom in on that. Zoom. Then use your brush tool. Just get your brush tool and go over the light. Like that. Oh no. Click off the brush, go back on again, then make a bigger one to go around it. Like so. Click that, it's lagging. Uh, what the fuck? Then on that one, just turn the brightness down go back it's better to go back and look at it no something's happened it was lagging there you go that looks about right click on that 
Um, one thing you can do to just get, see how it's like spilling over there. Just hold down, I think it's control. No, it's fucking lagging like crazy. Lagging, 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 lagging. I think it's if you hold control. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to call it a video complete. So hope you learned something. If you like this video, you got some kind of value out of it, please like and subscribe. It'll help me make more videos and comment what you think. Or if you want any other videos for me to make, comment that below. And I'll see you in the next video. 45 minutes on one photo. Fuck, it's come a long way. So the after again. Damn people. I'll see you next time.